Good morning, folks. We've got looks at our star, some more big earthquakes, last night's weather, a new geoelectric map that finally includes Canada, a story on Pacific corals, and one on the painfully pointless use of CO2 in atmospheric studies. Let's start with our star. We find the last 24 hours again had no solar flares. The solar wind and geomagnetic conditions are calm. We've got a new coronal hole turning in just north of the solar equator. And for the most part, the plasma filaments have remained stable. We got a bit of prominence activity around the limbs, but the bigger earth facing ropes are firmly anchored in the corona for now. Hopefully it stays that way today. A couple of those filaments do have some solid size to them. We'll have eyes open. The earthquake uptick continued. A 6.3 struck offshore of Panama. We also had a 6-pointer hit the Philippines. We've had five big quakes in the last three days, including that 7-pointer in the West Pacific. Up next, here's the geocolor look from GOES satellites with the lightning overlay. You can see where the storm lines were and where the energetic activity was taking place. Those storms are moving eastward and continue to present considerable threats as they freight train across the country. The geoelectric maps have been some of the coolest ways for us to watch solar storm induction and disruption, but they have only been available for the United States until now. This new one is the first to include Canada and can be found on the NOAA Space Weather Prediction Center. We'll be using it during the next solar storm. More good news for the coral. You may have heard about their bounce back after a couple bad years up to record levels in some places, but now they know that their microbiome is even greater resilience to temperature shifts than they believed. The coral are going to be fine. Last but not least, Folks, this is one heck of a paper, and while you can bet that mainstream scientists and especially propaganda news outlets are going to ignore it, it is sound in its assertion that CO2 is a non-factor in global temperatures. The paper pegs human influence on climate at less than 3% of what most mainstream scientists say it is, which is basically nothing, fraction of a fraction of a degree. Good luck getting that on CNN. We greatly appreciate your support. We've got eyes on the sun. Check out the links below the video. Subscribe and we'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now at 6 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.